Einstein had once asked the question, what I want to know is whether God had any choice in the creation of the universe. Now, Albert Einstein is not here with us today to ask that question. So I'm going to channel him and ask you the same question. I want to know whether God had any choice in the creation of the universe. But when I say that, I'm going to concede that there are multiple theories about a creator. There's the Spinoza's God. Einstein, God one thing is yeah. for certain, Einstein never meant God when he said God. Okay, he never meant the God that anyone normally talks about. I mean, he it was his way of just talking the old man, the, you know, the, what he really <laughs> meant by that statement. He framed it in a poetic way, but what he and he's not there to for me to confirm this, but I can assure you I'm channeling him now. <laughs> um, he meant, is there a unique law of physics? If you it, it, are the laws unique, and namely, if I tweak some knob and some force of different, would, would all of reality dis, disappear? Is there only one way to put together a consistent reality, and can we explain why the universe has to be the way it is? That's really what he meant. And that is the question that's of most interest to me. And unfortunately, and I say it unfortunately because I became a physicist like many people of my generation to try and explain why the universe was the way it was and couldn't be any other way. Um, you know, that's what excited me. I think it's probably misplaced that in fact our current picture is that, that it, it may just be a, a big accident, that the laws are what they are without any fundamental necessity for there to be four forces that have the... They are... We can try and understand why they are that way within our universe. What set of phenomena, when I say why, I mean how, what caused that to result? But there could be many universes in which the laws of physics are quite different. And, you know, if that's the case, then unfortunately Einstein... Well, the answer to Einstein's question is that, that God, uh, namely non-God, had lots of choices. Um, and... Uh, and that, that even makes, and what makes that interesting, perhaps, is it even further removes the need for God at all, right? If there's lots of different universes that can be created, you don't need some intelligence to create one. You just need to hap be fortunate enough to live in one in which life can evolve and, uh, and then ask these questions.